let's see this x lookup with the true argument okay with the true argument so remember we look up with true argument let's recap on that yeah x lookup is there only in office 365 and above so if it is not there means you're not using office 365 you cannot use it uh, ex except on office 365 it is not there in on any other versions of excel it is not available okay then how will you work on it i will show you an alternate option which is using index and match okay we can use index and match we'll see that all right so uh, let's do a recap on the we look up with true argument here we look up the lookup value is the selling price the table array where I need to look up is over here. Okay, comma. The column index number that I have to return is the VAT. Okay, I hope you all remember this example. Comma. Now, what should we give us the range lookup here? True. Why true? True is equivalent to one. You can type one or you can type two. Because if you look at the selling price, it is going to fall in these ranges. Isn't it? It's going to fall in one of these ranges, but it's not exactly that value. So in this scenario, exact match doesn't work. Approximate match will work. So when I do this, it's going to, what happened? It's supposed to pull back 5%. Okay, let's change this maybe because it's zero. 500 and see. Look up value. Look it up here. Return. Okay, here it managed to think. So 2,500 meaning it is over here in this range, right? It will fall between 2,000 and 5,000. So we got 10%. Let me copy it down. So 20,000 and above. 20,000 meaning it will come under this range. So 30%. 9,000 comes in this range. So it is 20%. All right, this I will check why it's not doing it for 500. Let's take, um, hmm. now what is the prerequisite for this to work? We had discussed what is the prerequisite for the true function to work. For approximate match to work, the prerequisite or the condition is that data has to be sorted in ascending order. If the data is not sorted in ascending or increasing order over here, it will not work, isn't it? So if the data is not sorted, suppose the data is organized like this. So here it is not in a sorted order. And if I reference this one, I'm trying to look up for 2,500 in this table array and ask it to pull back column number three for me with an approximate match. Okay, with an approximate match, it may not give me the correct answer. Okay, so let us just fix this range. Okay, I will fix this range. And copy it down. You can see that it's not working, isn't it? It's giving 5% for 2500. It is giving 30%. And then it's giving again 5%, which when we reference 9000, it's giving 5%. So it's not actually working properly. So the prerequisite is that data has to be sorted in ascending order for a true match. Only then it will work. Otherwise, it will not work like that. We are not getting the correct output. Here we are getting 5% where it should be 10. Here we are, it's supposed to be 20. We're getting 5. And here 30% somehow it came. Somehow it came. Okay. Now, um, yeah, so yeah, this is less than 1000, which is not there in the range. So it is not a NA, which is okay, but we will handle it now. Okay, we will handle it now. So when the data is not sorted in a proper sequence, the true match condition does not hold good. 
it has to be sorted in a proper sequence. But this also we can overcome with X lookup. Okay, so instead of a V lookup over here, where it didn't work, because C500 is less than 1000, 1000 is not even handled over here. So I didn't get anything not available. And rest of them worked only when my data is sorted in a proper sequence. Now, how do we overcome this problem? Okay, how do we overcome this problem? We can, instead of V lookup, replace it with X lookup. So with the X lookup function, the lookup value is this one, comma. The lookup array is this. Okay, remember with X lookup, it is not. Yeah, Mohan Raj, I wanted a fail condition. You got it right. We are looking for a fail condition that V lookup failed in this case. When we are using 500, V lookup failed because the range does not satisfy. Now, with V lookup, we had given the table array. With X lookup, we give only the range. Now, comma, what is the return value? Is this. Okay, now here we can again go with um, what should happen if it is not found. Let me say if it is not found, I want zero. And match mode, exact match. I'm trying exact match over here. Enter. It's going to be 0% for everything when I copy it down. It just for Okay. It's going to be 0% everywhere, even if I fill it down. Why? Because exact match, nothing is matching exactly. There is no exact match condition over here. So by default, it's going to the not found scenario and putting zero. Now we'll change this match, match mode and give minus one. With minus one, what will happen? Exact match or next smaller item. Okay. So with this, let's see. Still, there is a problem here. Exact match is not there. So it is supposed to go with whatever is smaller than that. 25,000. It is going to this bracket. Okay. 20,000. It's not able to find there. 9,000. It's going into 30% bracket. Smaller, right? So 10,000, it's going with the smaller number. Now let us check the other value. I'll give a plus one over here. Exact match or the next larger item. Now look at this. 500 wasn't there. It went to the larger item means it falls in this range. So this would be the correct option to use in our scenario. But here also there will be a problem we need to handle. 2,500 in this range, if it is found, okay? And this and this, again, it's saying not found. You're getting it. So um, maybe I took a wrong example to explain this. Now I realize it. Anyway, so what we will do is wherever we are not able to find, let me change this to 10,000 and see. So let's just make it. Sorry, my bad. I think I've taken a wrong example for this. It's not filling up here because this is C15. This is uh, this 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 is not working. Why did it not fill up? Problem with the way I've defined the formula. I didn't use absolute reference. One moment. We need absolute reference, right? That is why it's not working. Now it will work. Now it will work. Earlier it was a relative reference. So it kept going like this. It was looking at this data. It was giving me this as my return value. Therefore, two zeros. All right. So let's just check the formula again. We are doing an X lookup. The lookup value is in this column, which is relative. Right now it is C13. If I move to the next row, it would become C14, means 2,500. The next row, it is C15, means 20,000. And the next row, it is C16, which means it is this value. So till there, it is fine. But we want the other things to be constant, right? 
we want we want the return array to always be the lookup array to be this this one always so i have taken absolute and the return array should always be fixed to this range so to lock that range in place i made it absolute reference if it is not found we are going to by default assign 0% and if it is found with an exact uh, with an approximate match and i'm using one one means if it it goes to the next higher value okay so with this what has happened for 500 it's taken 5% though it was not there in the range v lookup didn't do that v lookup couldn't do it but x lookup is doing it for 2500 it is in this uh, it's in the next higher range 20% it has taken because it is greater than what we have found 7500 greater than whatever is matched so that is 30% but for 20000 that is out of range now the higher side is out of range so what we can do is it is handling everything it is handling below 1000 it is handling up to 10,000, but beyond 10,000, it is unable to handle. Earlier, below, below 1,000, it could not handle. Now, beyond 10,000, it's not handling. So we know that 10,000 and above are all 30%, isn't it? We know for sure that 10,000 and above are all supposed to go under the 30% bracket. And we know that the only case that is not working here is the above 10,000 case, below 10,000, everything is getting handled. Above 10,000, it's unable to handle. So what we can do in the formula is, when it is not found, means the above 10,000 case, we can make it 0.3, that is 30%, right? We know it should be 30% for everything above. So by default, we'll say if it is not found, go with 30%. Now you can see, it will populate 30% for everything that you give above 10,000. So I'm, I'm not saying this in optimum way, but at least we have a workaround over here, right? We managed to manipulate that situation and the false condition that we were coming across, not found condition, we are, we are using it to our advantage. We are saying, okay, if it's not found, then it is not found only when it is greater than 10,000. Let's use 30% by default over there, okay? So this is another way you can uh, use the XLOOKUP function.